80% of women who have perimenopausal and menopausal symptoms have this slowdown in terms of the brain metabolism, where the brain is not able to use glucose as fuel the way it once did. When it comes to hormone therapy, all women deserve counseling about hormone therapy and an evaluation for whether they're a good candidate. And to me, the most compelling reason to give hormone therapy is for brain health. So we know that estrogen modulates a lot of different brain chemicals. Your serotonin, dopamine, brain-derived neurotrophic factor, which is like fertilizer for your brain. It also influences glucose metabolism. In fact, some of the researchers in this area say that estrogen is the most important regulator of your mitochondria. It's the most important regulator in the female body, full stop. When estrogen starts to drop, and that's, you know, for most of us around 35 or 40 or 45, that's when you start to see brain fog and insulin resistance. It's when you start to see metabolism slow down. And this is why so many women gain weight, they feel mentally slower, like their processing speed is slower, and they lose resilience in their 40s and 50s. So we've got the work of Lisa Moscone to show us that lower estrogen levels are associated with faltering mitochondria in the female brain. And in those of us that are candidates, we want to consider taking hormone therapy.